Hello everybody and welcome to your Mansfield's Tarot. I'm about to be, it is a general reading, so that being said, it might not resonate with everybody, so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever though you do, um, you feel you would like to have a reading, you're in search of some answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. May it be for a love relationship reading, may it be for career or simple guidance. Please do contact me. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So, with no further ado here, we are going to begin this reading. I'm very excited about this reading. This reading is all about channeling your spirit guides, okay? So what we want to know here is, um, we want to know some positiveness. We want to know a little bit what to watch out for, and we want to have some blessings. I'm not into warnings. These are not warnings here. This is not what I have channeled. I really am looking to learn to develop a higher understanding of spirit, remembering that you are never truly alone. It's very important that you know that you're never, ever, ever truly alone. So um, let's go and see the guidance. Let's go and see the knowledge, the wisdom that the spirit guides have to um, transmit to you today. I have three of them and I'm going to finish it off after with a oracle card of the power of love. So let's begin. By the way, I don't think I have said so. This is for the sign of Virgo. So I have feel joy in all that you do, follow the golden rule, and um, stay open-minded. So let's begin with feel joy in all that you do. Now, when you're not happy and you're not in alignment with your true divinity, and you have placed yourself in an earth mindset of judgment and fear, feelings of joy and spirits and spirits' way of letting you know that you are following your true path. Okay, so whenever you are in joy, you know that you're following the right path. The same goes for the opposite. Now, the emotions of joy is a signal that your conscious mind, that this action makes you feel this way, is what you should be doing, but more of. Only you know what feels good in your heart, so don't let the judgment of others dissuade you from following your bliss. Spirit wants you to know that you must do what you love and what you want to do. And is the, that is the mantra of this card, of this message for you. If something is making you miserable, you have the power to change your circumstances. The human lifespan is far too short to not be doing what feeds your soul. So when you begin to live in joy, you become a beacon of love. And the law of attraction will only see that good things will come to you, okay? It's always the same thing. If you are positive, if you, uh, if you're positive, you have that positive energy. You're going to attract that positiveness back to you, and that is what you want. Now let's go and follow the golden rule. After you followed the joy in all that you do, spirit wants you to know that this is the cornerstone for anyone that is choosing to live a mindful life follow the golden rule. Anytime it appears, you will know that a situation is occurring or about to occur in which you're going to need to treat others as you would like to be treated. Putting yourself in someone else's shoes and imagining what advice or help you would like if you were that person in the greatest exercise of empathy that there is. Now, from a karmic standpoint you can never grow wrong by following the golden rule now how you treat others can be labeled as right and it can be labeled as wrong but as long as your intention was to do as you'd like to be treated then there is no culpability on your part you came with an honest and sincere intention that is based on the thing that you know is best yourself Guessing or assuming what actions to take can often lead to misunderstandings. And always think to yourself, if I were that person, what would I like to hear from me? What is it that I would like to hear from me? So that is a golden rule. 
treat others like you would like to be treated. And stay open-minded. Card doesn't want to come. Voila. Your soul, it really is in a constant state of evolution and it evolves in the spirit world as well as in the physical. But it really isn't to the physical destinations like earth that your soul grows exponentially. The lessons that you learn while experiencing the illusion of separateness are so profound and the paths that unfold before you can be so surprising. That's why it is important to be open to change. New people, new ways of living, new beliefs, new events are always part of your soul's journey. So to remain rigid in your thinking is going to prevent you from being introduced to new ideas which will in return enrich your adventure right here on earth. Life is all about transition and when you remain in a receptive you can experiment while you are fulfilling your blueprint. And as you familiarize yourself with this message, try to picture, close your eyes and try to picture a river that begins in the mountains and that just ends way down into the sea. And this is your life trajectory. But there are many, many tributaries that you know, can take and can still reach your destination. So be open to investigating all of the avenues that are intriguing you. Soon, you're going to prove invaluable and you may even want to just stay a little bit while longer and others just may not. But to experience them at all is really what matters. So your spirit guide wants you to stay open. Okay, you need to stay open-minded to all different type of experiences that are around you so that you can grow. You know, spiritual guides, that's what they're about. They're about growth and expansion. This is the same thing. This is what they want from you. And at the same time, when you stay open-minded, you feel more joy. You try new things. You get more new experiences. You find more joy into the new um into the new adventures, into the new knowledge that you're going to have. And please don't forget to follow the golden rule. Okay, be as nice with the others as you're going to be with yourself. Let's put it that way. And here I have as a message for the activation card, power of love, joy. You delight in the love of life and you bring a spirit of fun in all that you do, which is great because this is what your spirit guides has asked you. Joy is born of living in happiness, of grace and gratitude, and it's really the celebration of life and your own role in it. Part of your soul makeup is having the keen awareness that you are full of abundance and you are most fulfilled when you serve others. Indeed, when you're in touch with your divine self, you really want to share this. You do. And you want to share this feeling with everyone that you encounter. Now, in tune with the vibration of joy, you are content, you're serene, and you're full of incredible spirit confidence. And once you realize that the hardest lessons on earth are to serve your highest good, you really get a glimpse of true joy that is waiting into the wings, and you can move forward with your life. But you're going to move forward recognizing that so-called struggles really just arise so that you can conquer them and you can come through the experience but triumphant and feeling proud of your actions. And this is exactly what your spirit guide wants you to do. That being said, my dear friends Virgo, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that you enjoyed the messages from your spirit guides. I hope that you're going to be able to apply them. Okay, they are all three very important. As much the go the the golden rule, the joy, as to stay open minded for those new experiences. Um, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many blessings. Thank you for being there. Thank you for listening. Um, Please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like your reading. You know how to contact me and I'll be seeing you tomorrow with a new message. Have yourself a great day.